NBC Sports is proud to bring you the Los Angeles Auto Show, presented by eBay Motors. Well, it's no secret that automakers are in business to make a profit. After all, this is America, right? But the Wall Street Journal reported that manufacturers are losing eight to nine thousand dollars on each electric car sold. Is that right, Nick? Eight to nine thousand dollars? Our investigation says that's right, Tor, and it's partly because of a California law that manufacturers are taking a loss. The story starts here in California, but doesn't end here. Fiat pulled the silks off of their electric vehicle in LA. The new Fiat 500e is not for the faint of heart. This little show-off will get an estimated 80 miles on a single charge, and if kept on city streets, Fiat estimate that it will jump to a 100-mile range. The Wall Street Journal noted that Chrysler's chief executive, Sergio Marchione, has estimated Chrysler will lose between eight and $9,000 on each of its new electric vehicles. The Fiat 500e is expected to arrive first in California showrooms in the summer. The final price, including discount, is not yet known. In the meantime, customers will have a growing list of electrics to choose from. The Nissan Leaf and Chevy Volt are well known, and General Motors added to its lineup at the Los Angeles Auto Show with the Chevy Spark EV. The new Spark impressed the media with 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 8 seconds. That's a lot of get up and go for a stock subcompact. And the battery pack will recharge to 80% in 20 minutes. Inside the Spark EV, GM have installed a 7-inch touchscreen that uses your smartphone for apps and information. It's going to be a part of a tech package that now includes Siri integration. The Spark EV will be the second electric car in Chevy's lineup if you count the range-extended Volt. Despite lackluster sales for the Chevy Volt, Consumer Reports found high acceptance of this electrically driven car. Volt owners are the happiest among all car owners in the country. And electric vehicles are not only for subcompact buyers. Fisker Automotive takes a different approach, producing a luxury sports sedan that happens to be electric. This year, automakers are expected to sell around 40 million new cars in the U.S. And if the nation follows California's law, insisting manufacturers sell 1% zero-emission cars, that would mean automakers would need to step up and sell a minimum of 140,000 electric vehicles to meet the goal. This last year, manufacturers only sold 18,000 zero-emission vehicles. That is a gap of 122,000 zero-emission cars that would need to be sold. Not manufactured, but sold. This is a big problem. We talked to one manufacturer who wasn't willing to go on camera, but told us, because the government mandates for electric cars, we are forced to engineer, manufacture, and sell cars which people don't want. Basically, they've set targets for automakers where we have to sell a certain percentage of these clean cars in order to sell any car in this state. This presents a whole new challenge to automakers. You cannot force a customer to buy any product, and that is the challenge. So one of the key things that GM has done, working with regulators at the state level and at the federal level, is to make sure that there are provisions in the law that takes into account market acceptance. If we find out that consumers are taking a bit longer to get into these cars, we get to adjust the regulation. We'll see. However, there is good news for electric car shoppers. With a projected manufacturer discount of up to $9,000 from its real cost and a tax incentive of around $7,500, depending on where you live, electric vehicles are being sold at a discount of around $16,500, meaning you can buy an electric car for a lot less than it costs to make. But on the flip side, this means that you are unwillingly subsidizing electric car production when you purchase a gas car. But can electrics make it? Does the electric car really have a future? We project 3% um, of the market by 2018 to be electrical and we also have the goal to be by 2018 the global leader in electric cars. Electric cars are being well received. They make up everything that we try to get out of a regular car. Performance, quietness, instant torque, all these attributes, they're inherent in an electric car. The key is getting people to look at them. And it might be innovation that changes the way people look at electric cars. Infinity promises that their LE concept will have this charging mat when the model goes to production. 
In the future, your car will be charged just by where you park it. And Kelly, if you parked your cell phone on a charger like this, you might have enough juice to answer my calls. Oh, Nick, it's fully charged. It just screens my calls for me. That's why it's called a smartphone. 